How was that? Do you need me to do it one more time? Yeah, hit, hit that da 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 one more time. Keep the pitch and then that last oh. Make sure that it's deep from the resonant of your core. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yep. What is that? This or this? Can't tell. Spike, hello. All right, Spike, I'm skipping you today, dude. I'm skipping you today. You thought, stop it. I'm finna just start the game. I'm clicking, there we go. What? Good job, welcome back. Hey. They go Cool Bar on the right, they go Big Mac on the left. Are they enemies? He just socked me square in my jaw, so maybe we were meant to be enemies. That's fine. <laughs> I'm not afraid of corn on the... Nah, nah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Woo! Dang it, rope up. You almost caught a. You almost caught one of these to the throat. That's what I was trying to rhyme. Dang it. Big meeting, big meeting. What's up, baby girl? Yeah, you first to see. Sayaka, my Zozo, you are baby. Yeah, I'm trying to see what you trying to do. What? Okay, so since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different- Oh, let me do my voices. Hold on. Right. Bianca and Taki each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. It looks like Leon, Hiro, Junko, and Chiora are all grouped up together. The same goes for Hina, Sakura, and Mondo. Celeste, Togo, and Ifumi were left over, so they joined up. You say this like I know everybody by their name. The only people I know is Hifumo. Kubara, I don't even know Kubara's real name. And 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 what's his name? I forget. All right. So let me let me let me discover. Let me discover. Let me, so I can only talk to her real quick. Oh, I see. Everyone's okay. I see. And then I just try and go, and I'll be like, be out there. I wanted to try and find some clues as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all for me. Really? That's it? Hm. If I uncovered anything, naturally I would have more to say. But I didn't, so I don't. Right, I, I understood. Okay. okay, so Buyaka didn't have any. Bu Buyaka Shah didn't have none. Buyaka, that's your name. Buyaka, got you. And then Taka. I spent some time looking around the dormitory and. Uh, Listen to me! There I made the discovery of the century! I found that there was exactly one room for each person. <sighs> well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Yeah. Like, each door already has, like, a nameplate on it, uh, so I guess all, like, the rooms have been assigned, uh, like, already, like, <laughs> And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name precision etched onto it. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is, in fact, my room. And plus. And, like, Chiharu and I, like, found out that all the rooms are, like, totally soundproof. Um... <laughs> Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. Why why are you thinking about that? When you was the main one talking about you was scared when that Monokumo bastard laid the rules down. You was the main one scared. Now you talking about your neighbors could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. Okay, I see where your mind's at. Well, each room also had a private bathroom which could also lock. But like it looked like there were only like locks on the bathrooms in like the girls' dorms. Huh? 
But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. You're a girl. Big Mac, you're a girl. That's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, come on. Okay, so, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Quiet down and listen! Well, better to have that not. Better to have than have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. <sighs> that, that can't be all you have to report. Can it, Mr. Uh, others to student? Got it! That's all I have for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. Okay, okay, so so far we learned everybody has their own assigned rooms. Uh, bathrooms are locked. Um, rooms are soundproof. You see? Yep, so did Kyoko. But we just don't know where Kyoko is, I guess. It looks like Leon, Hiro, Junko, and Chihiro. Let's talk to him. Leon, you first. Oh, here we go, Junko. We like went up all and down the school, like double checking like the windows and like all the hallways and classes. We like wanted to see if we could like get any of those metal plates to like come off, right? Uh, but what happened like was like hmm. nothing, not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge, even a little bit. <laughs> what should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This like sucks like ass like like I can't like like no dingling like this sucks. Bad, 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 bad. Like it really, really sucks. Like it sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks. Like what what the hell are we gonna do? It sucks. This sucks. Hey, come on. God damn, calm down. You, you start to make me nervous. Yeah, okay, so you just gonna have a black voice. <laughs> you start to make me nervous. Um. Okay. You see. So they couldn't get any plates off. We've been cut off. And the same goes for Hina, Sakura, and Mondo. I think Hina, Hina the baddest, the baddest girl here. No, Aoki. Is Hina bad? Yeah, yeah, Aoki. Yeah, she, she the baddest. But she likes to be called Hina. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. Yo. I went back to the main hall, thinking maybe we could uh, do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? But uh, even what? with... What? Damn, let me read. Talking about some what, what? What, what? In the butt. I said what, what? In the butt. Y'all remember that? Y'all don't even remember that. That's sad. <laughs> but even with Secure and me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs and nothing. <laughs> Shit. It was hard. It was hard as like metal. Yes, indeed. What? Well, yes, it is metal. Oh, Anyways, sucks. if we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be through there. I, I feel like I could just cry, but no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But... But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. Hmm. In other words, at this point we're only able to search the first floor. However... We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there is at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Everyone has their own dormitory. Bathrooms are locked. They're all soundproof. Windows will not budge. There could be potentially three floors. We got this. I'm remembering. Take notes. Um, <laughs> Take notes. You okay. See. Okay. Who's left? Celeste, Toko, and Hifumi. Let's see. If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. You're lying. You're not... That, um, that's not flying by. You're lying. Most unfortunate. 
Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around a school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? What, what the, what, like, what the hell were you thinking? Like, just sitting around the gym, like, the whole, like, time? What are you thinking? <laughs> well, it's not like any of you it invited me along. Nobody said, hey, go, go with us. Nobody. I blame you for leaving me out. It, it's your fault. If, if you like wanted to like go with someone like you should have just said something like I was standing right here like like just ask me use your voice bitch <laughs> For, Forget it like I wouldn't go anywhere with a dirty slut like you S Slut <laughs> Your mind is as th thin as your body You make me sick to my stomach are you for real I don't even like know how to react like how can you say something like so awful to, to someone you just met bitch? hey come on Alright guys, alright, everybody just calm down, okay? All this dress is just bad for your skin, you know? Yeah, it, it sounds like you two are so close now, you're, you're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. Hey, um... So that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. This big! What are you, what are you waiting on? Speak! Hold on, hold on. I don't think I should leave right now. The atmosphere is unpleasant. Okay, these are exits. Let me see. It's 7 o'clock still? I looked up at the clock and I sighed. Okay, so we got this one. Uh, it's a TV. Right now it's just showing the school crest. Even so, it makes me feel uneasy. Ugh. And then we got the camera. A surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. I have to keep in mind that it's against school regulations to mess with any of the cameras. As much as it gets on my nerves, I better leave it alone. Okay. Two Chuck E. Cheese tokens. Sweet. I could probably buy one croissant roll for dinner tonight. With both coins. You know that you know they tax and if if all I can buy is their store, they gonna tax me hella hard. I went and had a oh sorry. <laughs> I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. I guess we don't have to worry about food at least. All right, maybe they're not taxing. Maybe they're not taxing. What? <sighs> sure, for now. But even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> You, you can just eat sesame seeds or, or something. Huh? What am I? A parakeet? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um. At least, that's what Monokuma said. Mm -hmm. You saw him, right? Okay. Yeah. He came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. Told me that, then disappeared again. So why is my assistant talking to Monokuma but not telling me anything? Saika, I'm watching you. He was so fast. I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with the remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that could just appear from nowhere? I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. She gotta have a different accent. I'm gonna try her Irish. A weaponized toy that could just appear from nowhere? I can't tell if we're supposed to be a friend or not. Okay, my, my, accent suck. my accent sucks, but you know, I'm gonna do my thing. But was everything okay? He didn't try to like eat you or anything, right? <laughs> uh, eat, eat her? You can do that? <laughs> well, what do you mean by that? I mean, uh, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? This nigga thinks she talking about Hafumi. How old are you? What do you know about that? Get off them sites. I know you're not eating. You're just watching it. You don't even know how to do it, do you? Walrus face. Why am I picking on him?
You deserved it. She said, come on, man. Leon, what the hell, fatty? Yeah, I can like some kind of sleeves of drunk dude. Actually, not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. <sighs> Stick to the green. Hey! Hey, like stop screwing around, like all of you. Are y'all still like sleep or something? Like we're prisoners here. We can all like just die any second. Dude, shit. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta like do something. Uh, a voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Mm -hmm. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Oh, that's Kyoko. It was her voice. Yo! Kyoko! Where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped the piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It's a map, y'all. It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? <laughs> what the? Where did you find this? Wow. It doesn't matter where I found it. She don't play those games. She don't play those games. You can't ask her those questions. She don't care about no games that you're playing. What the heck? It does matter. You're really freaking this up right now. Where'd you find it? Let me know. But more important. Never mind that. Like, what's it mean? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy. It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However... I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um... But then, this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. <laughs> so stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn. But... But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? <sighs> hey, come on guys. Let's just stop talking about all this. <sighs> you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo! Worried? <laughs> What's there to be worried about? I got my tree in my hair for days. This is called Nap OG. <laughs> Nap OG? <laughs> Look at his hair, y'all. It's nappy as hell. I mean, this is where it all planned out, right? I mean, the people in charge of Hope's Peak put this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I get stressed every time something like this happens, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out my mouth. But instead I got Nap OG clouds instead. Oh, to be alive, to be alive. <laughs> you know? Good things come to those who wait, right? I mean, we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. I am so fucking high. <laughs> <laughs> What's your problem? Wh wh why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I'm just happy, that is all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good deal. I mean, it was a good idea, after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time! We didn't find a way out. We didn't f find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's g going on. Oh. Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what is going on? Are you okay with this? 
It is perfectly obvious that we have been in prison in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. <laughs> you, you didn't have to go and see that. I, I was trying not to, to think, think about it. No, no way out. We're trapped in here. What, what are we supposed to, to do? Yo, she having a panic attack, but so would I though. Think about it, y'all. No matter what you think, Hold on, hold on, I'm peeking like a, like a motherfucker. Microphone, can you, can you cooperate? What do you need? Oh my gosh, controller, just sit, stay on the desk. It's like having a bunch of badass kids in here. Think about it, y'all, what would you do? If this, if you was in this situation, I'm sure you'd be, you'd be trying to avoid thinking about it too. But it's like, you can't escape the reality. You are stuck in here forever, unless you kill someone to get out. They, they think they're making all this progress, but at the end of the day, rules are rules. <laughs> Monokuma said it. There's no way out. Murder is indefinite. Is that the word? I hope it is. It's very simple. If you... Oh, see, look. He already on it. He already on it. And he's smiling about it. Booyaka, what's up with you? If you want to leave, you just have to kill, idiots. Stop it! Like, don't even, like, joke about that. Um... Everyone just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... Look, there's gotta be something we can motherfucking do, y'all, look. <laughs> All we can do is adapt, adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually. Actually, as someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night at minimum. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. I do not care if y'all don't like this game, bruh. I'ma keep playing it because I'm interested. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Huh? But, but, but why, why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try and come kill us. What? <laughs> if we have to worry about that night after night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preventative measure. I can see that because the last thing I need is one of y'all roaming the halls trying to come kill me. I will snap your neck like a twig in the wind. <laughs> Indeed. I'm spitting this shit. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. Okay, so there's like rules. If y'all learn about it in class, they have de facto rules and de something else rules. This is a de something else rule. De journo? Nah, that's a pizza slice. Stop it. I like see what you mean, but like I I think I can agree to that. I I, I think I can agree to that. It's like the little goth like Leo L Lolita. It's like the little goth Lolita said. Without something like that, like we're just gonna like self destruct. Listen to me. On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. What? 
Hey man, look man, you can't just decide to speak for all of us, man. Cut it out. This is fine. So everyone is in agreement? Good. <laughs> then if you will excuse me. Huh? Huh? Wait, where are you going? Let's see. It is almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. So, goodbye. Y'all trust Celeste? I, I agree with her plan. I think that is a great idea to just have no nighttime altogether because, one, first of all, I'm not finna get caught sleeping in class just because I'm trying to get a little late night snack, all right? That sounds like a detention. That sounds like they will take a paddle to my ass. I'm not finna have that. Everybody get in your rooms, 7 o'clock. Wait, wait, 10 p.m. to 7 o'clock. It's not that hard, okay? 10 o'clock, that leaves you with how many hours to beat your meat? Maybe one. You try to find a good scene, right? You get in the bed. You, you finally get it off at like 11 o'clock, 11.15, the latest. You have what? That's about... Eight hours of quality sleep before you have to be up for class the next morning. Get you a little beat, go to sleep, then you in class ready to ace your, ace your sheet. Oh gosh. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Um. So, yeah, every time I do this man voice and I'm breathing hard, it, it like, it like leaves me lightheaded, so I gotta fix his voice. So, so he, he's just gonna sound like Patrick Starr. So, so I guess it's uh, pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. So, like, Mr. Chairman, what next? Uh, like, one person already left. <laughs> um, uh, well, then, uh, what, what say we call an end to today's meeting? You understand? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? Like, we don't have a choice. We, like, we can't, we can't go for, like, long without getting some sleep. Oh, this sucks. So we have to just give up. <sighs> That's all fine and good for t today, but what do we do for t tomorrow? So in the end, our only option is to split up and look around again and let everyone know if we find anything. Mm. Yeah, okay. Let's let's do that. Mm. Then like we're done for today? Good. <sighs> I'm like exhausted, like. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um... Mikado, are, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. Nighttime. Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks on them, right? hell is that on my floor? What the hell? Well, I'm gonna check the bathroom now before night time. Alright, let's open it up. Big locks on that door. Big locks. It's no use. It's already locked. Bzz. <laughs> Bzz. Wrong! Not locked! Holy crap! Jeez! Talk about an overreaction! It's like you just saw a ghost or something! Wah -wah? <laughs> like some kind of a uh, robot bear ghost? What are you doing here? What? Makoto Nagi! This is super duper majorly bad! So bad, it's almost magical! Ultra magical awful awful attack! Uh huh! <laughs> In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason they won't open is, is it because it's locked? The door just doesn't fit? Hey, um... Didn't you see the notice? What, you can't read? The bathroom in the boys' room don't have locks. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Ba -bum, ba -bum. Well... It's not that it's pointless. Oh, sorry, this is to him. It's not that it's pointless, I guess. But I'm the expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up. Anyway, there's 
a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? You just gotta turn the doorknob, then lift while you pull. Yes, indeed. Go ahead. Give it a try. Turn the knob and lift the door up while I pull this man's song. Ba -ba 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 Who's who sang this? Who got in the studio? Whoever got in the studio got in the studio and they was in there like this. They was in there like this. How was that? Do you need me to do it one more time? Yeah, hit, hit that ba 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 one more time. Keep the pitch and then that last oh. Make sure that it's deep from the resonant of your core. Ba 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 ba. I told y'all. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See? It opened right up. Isn't that crazy though? Your door is the only one that doesn't fit quite right. <laughs> you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But looks like you're not lucky at all. Bye-bye. Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye. <laughs> Hey, hey, wait! Damn it. It's supposed to be nighttime. Who's at my door? Why are you walking around and it's supposed to be nighttime and you come to visit me? I'm gonna snitch on you. Oh, wow, it's a monitor. I'm tripping. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. <laughs> Look at him. He got, he got some potion. He's sipping on shit. I see you, boy. As such... It is officially nighttime. Mm-hmm. Let me get it. Let me get a beverage for, for me too, real quick. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. <sighs> soon? What you mean soon? Shouldn't it be right now? So you can't go to the dining hall prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, <clears throat> everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I think I do a way better Monokuma voice personally, but hey, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Looks like it's nighttime. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly. I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I spent an entire day staring at a TV, watching movies. That makes you exhausted? Shit, I feel them. I was sitting here staring at this monitor every day after day. It gets a little straining on my eyes. I've been off that Skyrim lately. Or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. Chapter 2? Oh, here we go. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I will sleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I wake up, I'd realize it was all a dream? I used to read Word Up magazine, salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. I hope that's the right lyrics. It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher, but when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope's Peak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow. Okay, okay, he got me with that line. I swear to you, I'll send you off with a new tomorrow. Ding dong, bing bong. That's the monitor again, right? Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Yeah, if I had a Monokuma waking me up every day, I'd probably be cool with it for like a week. Then after that week, I'm like, 
take the batteries out of this fucking TV, unplug the cord. I don't want to hear this funky ass panda bear, panda, 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 stop. Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka, and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna head to her room. With the newfound determination, I left my room. I didn't even read the scroll on the wall. Ugh, look at that man. Ugh. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm going back to my room real quick. There was a scroll on the floor. I didn't even get the scroll. Didn't get the scroll. You know how it go. 714, say that it on my... It's some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah. Leave the area. Just waking up. Finna get the cafeteria. Get a cup. Fill it with some OJ. Look at my own brain. He look damn you tall. Hey! Good morning, Makato! Good, good morning, Taka. How you doing? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day, don't you think? You understand? Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sure, man. Got you. I wonder if he's always like this. What's he on? Look at them eyeballs. That look like straight demon blood, bitch. What are you drinking? Stop hitting that. Turn around. Ah. Uh. Sayaka, baby, I'm trying to holler at you. There's a doorbell next to that. I guess I should use that. Ding dong. Hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Hi, Makoto. Perfect timing. What? Um, listen. I, I have a favor to ask. Let me see what that says. A favor? Um. I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with... Oh, hold up. My boy Joe calling me. I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we can talk. Yeah, sure. Where you headed? Uh, um. Oh, um. I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Um. Well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here can show up and attack us anytime. You never know. Whoever trapped us here... Whoever presented us with rules for murdering each other. Whoever put us in this insane position. She's right. We never know when they might attack. Um. So I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect yourself. Well, shit, now that I'm thinking about it, that display case in the gym entry had a bunch of stuff. Maybe I, maybe I can grab one too. Say that next. Oh, the gym? Okay, let's go. Uh, again? Like I said, I'm psychic. Oh, yeah, yeah, she, she heard me thinking about it. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have great, amazing intuition. She's a psychic. I know she is. Am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, we should head to the gym. For anyone who just hates walking around the school, we've got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook menu. It's as simple as opening the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Plus, you can't teleport to places you haven't been, or places that are blocked off. Okay, that's like fast travel for any other game. Depending on certain story moments, there will be times when you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you could get lost forever. Well then, good luck and have fun. What the heck did that mean? Alright, come on girl, are you gonna follow me? Is she following me? She's not even following me. Come on, girl. Hey, um. <laughs> that would have that would have been nasty if she was following me anyway. Okay, this is Kyoko right here. I, I, I'm, I'm like, no, no, no. This is Taka. This is Taka. Kyoko is uh, she's uh. Let me see. All right, forget it. Um. So let's see. How do, how do I get to the gym? Hey, um... Here we go. I might be able to find something here to protect myself with. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'll find something in the display case I can use. Let me take a look, too. I'm, I'm not finna be left... La I'm not finna be caught lacking at all. Stop it. I'm finna take this. Is this a sword? 
Oh no, I think it's just a replica. Still, it's pretty impressive. Impressive? <laughs> what? It's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in a gold coating. But, jeez, I barely touched it and I got that gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um. Wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um... You should take it with you. It might help liven up your room a little. You think so? <laughs> but I guess you'd better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in a newspaper or something. One second, Tom. And just like that, it's been decided. I don't see anything I can really use for self-defense. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. Shit! Okay, Mikado! Big Mac! I felt that line, y'all. I felt that line. I felt that line. You'll pr protect me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for saying that. If I've got you on my side, I, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Sayaka giggled as she said that. That mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Absolutely, I'm finna, I'm finna uh, scan the area. Okay, let me get, let me get a quick scan. Who am I, y'all? <laughs> Is there something you need to do in the gym? Uh, no, not really. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Right now it's just showing the school crest. I don't even want to think about when he might show up next on that thing. Ugh. There we go, big coins, big coins. No, um, let's take a look over here again. What the hell is this? Is that a Fortnite helmet? It's a helmet of some sort. Why is something like that on display? G give me all the loot. I'm gonna take it. I don't even know what them is for yet. There's all kinds of stuff on the shelves up above. A plaque. I guess it's to commemorate some sort of championship. It it's a gold statue of Buddha. Why is something like that on display? Why can't it be? Why can't people believe in the religions they want to believe? Like, I'm not saying I believe in Buddha, but I mean, he's stuck for some good things. Like, shout out to my Buddha subscribers. Me, I believe in the Most High, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And y'all better not be in the comments like, I'm finna dislike this nigga videos because they believe in Jesus. Man, get off me. You believe in you believe? I believe in what I believe. Get off of me. You just try to kiss me? You a freak. I like that. Some terracotta clay figures. They don't like the kind of thing, they don't look like the kind of thing you put in a high school gym. That look like a big ass Diglett, Diglett statue. Big ass Goomba, big ass Gumbies. Big ass, all right, let's get out of here. All right, so, uh, Sayaka? Um. I, it, I, know I, said I, I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me too. I'm sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, we can just not talk, right? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Big Mac spitting that game right now, y'all. Y'all might not see it yet, but he's spitting that game. Smooth. Stare off into space. Oh, but you're probably super bored. Just standing there, brown do nothing. Um. No, it's not that it's boring. It's just I. I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. Oh wait, this, this might be going downhill. I, 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 I guess that makes sense. You probably, uh, you probably a busy person, right? Me too. It's just you know, in the moments I just like to stare off into space sometimes. Actually, I heard my friend do it one time. He sees fucking trash. I don't know why he does it in the first place. Forget I even said anything. Let's get out of here. Look, you, you're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. Hey, um. This is kind of out of nowhere, but Mikado, do you have a, a dream? 
Well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. I... Uh, my dream is... I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know? And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know? So I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess. And she could sing and dance. <laughs> but more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's, it's really incredible. I... I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Casting couch, y'all. Casting couch. Huh? I honestly believe that as, as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off of your dream. Not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream. Whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, to make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it, no matter what. Damn, she's she dropping that real shit on him right now. In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. See, that's the thing about dreams though, y'all. Like, like, think about it. If you got a dream, right, and you follow the Sayaka method where you just thinking about it day and night, day and night, 24 seven, like, that dream is gonna consume you. But you gonna achieve it. I really believe you can do whatever you put your mind to. You can make it happen. But at what cost, you know? Like, look look how she looks right now. Does that look like somebody who's proud of the journey she took to get to the dream? Because really, dreams, are, dreams aren't about just wait, just having something in your mind that you want to do one day and then you just wake up and you got it. There's no growth in that. You could, if that's the case, you can buy money with dreams. You know what I'm saying? But like, the real... The real beauty in a dream is the journey it takes to get there and how you get there really shapes who you are as a person. You can tell, she been through some shit, y'all. I don't know what it is, maybe she gonna tell me right now. Let me just stop talking and preaching and, and actually play the game. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. I is it really that tough? It's not fun at all? Oh no! Oh, no, don't get the wrong idea. It's super fun. But... But that's exactly what scares me. What? What are you talking about? Tell me. Uh, um... Like, I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Me too, y'all. Me too. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're, we're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young. So they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why. But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end and everyone goes their separate ways. S Sayaka, she's trembling. She must be terrified. You good? She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing you it. You see? So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, um... Well, they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends Forever and ever. At least, that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but now we're trapped here with no way out. 
They're probably waiting for me. <laughs> While I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still, S Sayaka. What? Why? I, I can't afford to be stuck in here. That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds desperate, but I can understand why she feel that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine it. Sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um. I kind of killed the mood, huh? Nah, not at all, not at all. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, S -S Sayaka. Actually, are, are you hungry? I'm hungry as shit! I can't stand here in this gym no more! Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So... Okay! You want me to make us something to eat? I might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook! Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. You mean the condiment? Ha <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. She burst out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. <laughs> Big Man was finna go off on it, like you're not finna make me a fucking oil. Let me chill. But how'd it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. Big dining hall, I'm finna go eat at the dining hall. Finna have me some dining hall. Everybody lives in the dining hall. Everybody eats in the dining hall. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat before returning to our rooms. And now we're back. Yep, Big Mac's room, daytime. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. <laughs> At least you got a weapon now, what are you complaining for? Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely. As you live out your school life here, you'll be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the store. Wait, you can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you will witness intimate events, and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which will prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also, keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. If you'd prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep to skip it. We wouldn't, rem we wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then anyway, why don't you try out by spending some time with Miss Sayaka Maizano? She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? Whoa, don't, don't ever make that sound in my ears again. I ought to sue for that. Yeah, let's leave the area. I'm finna go to Sayaka crib. I'm finna go see Rayaka, bitch. Everybody know where Sayaka is. So I'm finna say what's up to my girl. Yeah, finna... Yeah, give a ring, give a ring. Um, give a, give a ring, give a ring. You know, M Mikado, I'm so anxious. I, I really am afraid. Hmm, should I talk with Sayaka for a while? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna spend some time with her. Um, are, are you gonna try and, and cheer me up? Sorry. Sorry for making you take time out of your day like this. No, we finna chill. We finna chill. I did my best to comfort Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sayaka a present? Yeah, definitely. What would you like to give her? I don't even have presents. Are you sure you don't want to give her something? Yeah, maybe not. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I don't have anything. Are you sure you'd like to give her something? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm out of here. I don't have anything to give. Um, Mikado, do you think you can make time for the two of us to talk? W what's wrong? Why are you being so formal? I... Well, it's just... I guess that was kind of formal, but... It's just because I know I can count on you. Huh? 
Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Uh, um... If you weren't here with me, I, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. But that's why... I hate that we have to meet under such awful conditions, but... I'm relieved you're with me. Sayaka. Standing here face to face and hearing her say that. It's nice, but... Kind of embarrassing at the same time. Why are you embarrassed, Big Mac? You need to have more confidence. Damn. They need to have a confidence class in high school. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. <sighs> really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That smile. That mysterious smile that softens my heart. Look at that smile, though, y'all. That is a cute smile. I can't even lie. I can't blame him. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. <sighs> but it's kind of strange, you know? I, I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um... Because I looked at you all the time. Huh? I... I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. It'd be like that, y'all. The fine girls, don't, don't... Like the popular ones, they always go for that guy. No, they don't. Most of them go for the popular dude, the jock, the athlete, and then they get their heart broke. Then they come for guys like me. F*** you. You, you. you wanted to talk to me? But... But since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Uh... Do you remember during our first year of junior high, that huge bird wandered into the school pond? Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. <sighs> it was like out of a fairy tale. The turtle wants every million years, that bird wants every thousand. A huge bird wandered onto our school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been... What is a big bird, y'all? What the fuck? A crane? It was a crane. It just walked right into the pond. Okay. That's right. That's right, it was. It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. <laughs> but you led it into the forest behind the school. But you led it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. They made me do it. I was scared shitless. You see. I should have said that thank you then, but is it okay if I do it now? Thank me. I... I'm that crane, you see? I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, yeah, I kind of figured. What is this girl on? But Honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. Uh, um... I never imagined this would be how I got my chance, but... Yeah, if we, if we met again at a train station somewhere downtown, that'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. I... Maybe, but, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out, just like that crane. You'll save me. You see? It's just intuition, I know. But I still believe it. I'm gonna save her? I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I believe you. I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out like to be I right. Like I said, I'm psychic. Because I'm psychic. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, 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 kidding. She laughed out loud as she said it. The closer we get, the stronger that smile of hers makes me. I was glad to feel that way. Sayaka's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You just unlocked the skill. Melodious voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Mm, we know. As such, it is officially nighttime. Yep. Soon I'll... the doors to the dining hall will be locked. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Okay, so it's just a pre recorded message every time nighttime comes. Today's already came to an end. But I swear, tomorrow I'm gonna find some kind of clue. I swear! As my eyelids began to slide closed, the conversation I had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. 
Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did, so I can't say I feel the things I can't say I feel things the way she does. Compared to her, no, compared to her, compared to everyone else here, there's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. Here this motherfucker go. Ahem. So, I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun, but um, there's still room for a little laughter. It seems our newest students, already so filled with despair, still have some hope of escape. <laughs> so when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Heart-pounding excitement! Heart-pounding excitement indeed! Good morning. All right, we know what time it is. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Get ready to greet us. That's me. I see second day I'm already snoozing and shit. Morning has come. What should I do today? Free time. All right, y'all. I think I'm gonna save it. I think I'm gonna stop it right there. I think I'm gonna stop it right there. All right, y'all. Look. I know what y'all gonna say in the comments. This game is so boring. This game is so slow. Come on, what you expect? This isn't this isn't Fun Run, okay? This isn't Happy Wheels. Oh wait, no, what's that other game that's like super fast? That starts super fast and super fast. Like this game is it's a slow pace. It takes time, but you gotta learn the different characters, you know. I know somebody out there is watching this, and they're like, "This is dope. I'm gonna keep watching." And I'm pretty sure the killing is gonna start the next episode. I don't want there to be killing, right? I don't want it to happen, but we know we know what's gonna happen, bro. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Truly appreciate it. If you are new, please subscribe for more videos. And as always, I love each and every one of you, and I'll see you. Wait a minute, I love each and every one of you. Yeah, you. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, y'all.